Alright, in this video I will be going from level 1 to level 2450, which is the max level in Blocks Fruits, and I'm going to be doing it with the Rumble Fruit. Now, this fruit is a legendary, and it is my favorite fruit in this entire game. Absolutely amazing fruit, so let's get into it. Alright, let's go! I'm so excited for this one. Alrighty, so in order for this to be a proper noob to pro, there's a couple different things that we have to go and do. The first one is I have to get my basic abilities, which is my jump step, my aura or haki, and I have to go and get flash step as well. The next thing is I have to go unlock observation haki, which is much, much harder than the other ones to do. And I also have to go and awaken my fruit and hit max mastery on it. So I have to hit 600 mastery in total. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so while we are here, I'm going to go over the the first ability for rumble and that is the rumble dragon now it is absolutely terrible when you first start off obviously like most abilities are but rumble doesn't really become that good until you awaken it once you awaken this fruit it becomes an absolute beast of a fruit and that is what we're going to be doing okay so in order to get instinct there's a couple things i need to do first the first thing we're going to do really early game because it just saves me a bunch of time is to do these buttons. So the first button is over here, and while I'm showing you guys where these buttons are, it's really important that I show you this F move as well. Look at that, I got a lightning dash, it's really cool. This is where the second button is. This is the third button right here. The next button is up here, there you go. And the last button is right there, there we go. Too easy. So as I said, that will be really useful for when we go and get instinct, you guys will see that later in the video. But for now, we gotta go level up this fruit a ton, because as you can see, I don't get my next ability until 90 mastery, and you guys might not know this, but early game, it takes a very long time to get any mastery. Okay, so if you've played this game all the way up to the third C, you should know in order to actually get to the third C and unlock it, you need to fight and kill Don Swan. But in order to unlock the area where Don Swan is, you need to get a fruit that is worth one million berries. Now, that is no easy feat. That is why we are here at the Blocks Fruit Gacha in order to roll for a fruit. Now, hopefully, I get something straight away and I don't have to wait. That is not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be spinning throughout this video because we're gonna need a fruit that is worth 1 million, which means we need to get a legendary or higher. Super annoying, but we will get it. Now, as I mentioned before, one of the requirements for this video is to get all my basic abilities, which we can do very early on, as most of you will know. Level 90 means you can learn all the basic abilities like Haki, uh, Jump, Air Jump, and flash step. Pretty simple stuff, so we're gonna grab all these here, just like that. There we go. Now, I'm still working on getting my second ability for the Rumble Fruit. Again, as I said before, it, it comes very late at level 90 or Mastery 90, whatever you want to call it. Alrighty, so we're back at the Blocks Fruit Gacha. We're level 205, so we've got a couple things we need to do. I want to show you some abilities. We've got to go do the Saber Quest, and we've still got to continue to roll for a fruit that is actually worth a million berries. So let's roll and see if we get anything good. That is not particularly what I wanted but hey look we're gonna get it eventually all right the next thing i wanted to do anyway though was show you guys what the abilities are so the next ability is the sky thunder ability now this ability is really really cool you just drop a massive like kind of as you can see a lot lots of lots of thunder the next one is the sky beam now this ability is really cool as well you just drop a big old beam from the sky i mean it's like a big old cloud sky sky beam i mean really makes sense doesn't it Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna go do is we gotta go complete this saber quest so we can go and unlock instinct when we reach level 300 but before i go and do that we're level 200 i think what i'm gonna do is just get to level 300 before i do that so i have an easier time killing the saber expert i think that just makes life a lot easier so i'm gonna go do that first and then we'll be back all right so we're level 300 now which means we are able to do the saber quest and also go and get observation hockey so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do that now the first thing i need to do is come down over here go down this hole and grab this torch over here and then head over to the desert once i've head over to the desert what i need to do is come down into this little house and burn down this door pretty simple once the door disappears i need to grab this cup and i need to head over to the frozen area or the like frozen snow area just over there once i've reached the frozen village what i want to do is come into this like area in this cave area come over to this icicle wait until it drips into the cup and fills it up like that and then I need to come back over here, get all the way up to the houses, and come over to this house and speak to the sick man. The sick man will tell me I need to go speak to his son, who is rich, and he lives at the pirate village. Once I have reached the pirate village, what I need to do is come over here and speak to this guy right here, the rich man. Once I've spoken to him, he'll be like, thank you for helping my father, but I need to kill a mob boss because he has stolen all my money. So what you want to do is head over to this little secret island in the distance and go and kill the mob boss. 
Alright, so once you're over here, it's very dark, but you can see the mob boss right there. I haven't got much health, so I've got to kind of uh, be careful here, but just pretty much kill him. It's pretty simple. I should do quite a lot of damage with these abilities. Alright, so after you've killed him, very simple. What you need to do is head back over to the pirate village and speak to the rich man once again. Alright, so just speak to this guy again, and he will give you the relic item, and then you're pretty much done. What you need to do is just head over to the jungle again. Alright, so once you're at the jungle, come over to the stone area and put the relic in the keyhole, and then you can enter the chamber. Now, the Saber Expert will spawn here, but you probably need to hop server a couple times. All right, only three server hops later, we actually found him. That didn't take as long as I thought it would, but uh, here we go. We just want to beat him now. Now, he is quite strong, so do be kind of careful here. And a lot of the abilities on Rumble are very, very strong anyway, but you should be fine as long as you don't get hit like that. I don't even know how he hit me. I was like a mile away. All right, oh my god, okay, I killed him. It took a very long time. I highly recommend if you're using Rumble, you need to drag him out of the chamber. Honestly, if you're using most fruits, I recommend just pulling him out of the chamber because one of the abilities for Rumble, the Sky Thunder, doesn't actually hit him if he's inside like a building like this. Super annoying. I died so many times because I only have like 155 health and you got to get back to him really quickly because he does regenerate his health very fast. But anyway, let's go get Observation Hucky. Alrighty, so now that we've done the Saber quest, we can go up to the Instinct Teacher and we can learn Observation Hucky, which is going to be essential for becoming a pro in this game. And there we go. We've got Observation Hucky now. We can use it and this guy cannot hit us after for like two or three dodges. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the power of the Rumble Fruit now that we have have all the abilities and we are level 500 so I'm gonna kill this boss behind me so let's get into it There we go, we killed him. So as you can see, Rumble makes things a lot, lot easier. However, there are a couple issues with Rumble. One of the big issues is that there's a lot of like startup time for all the abilities. If I go to use Skybeam here, as you can see, my character takes a while for like the animation to go through. Same with the like, Sky Thunder. And don't even get me started on the V move, which is the final one for the Unawakened version. Look at this, it takes so long. I cannot move while this is happening. So there's a lot of startup time, so you gotta be quite careful when you're using it. Alrighty. So we are now in the second C, which means we are ready to do a couple of challenges. So the first thing that we need to do, probably the most important, is get a fruit that is worth 1 million berries. Now, why do I need that again? Well, it's just to get to the third C. That is one of the requirements, so we're going to need to do that. The second thing is to go get race V2 and V3. And the third and final thing is to go and get Rumble Awakened, which is probably the most important, to be honest, because Rumble V1 kind of sucks. But with that further ado, let's go get level 850 because that is when I can go and get race V2. So let's go do that. Alrighty, so now that we're level 850, we have to go and speak to this guy right here and he will pretty much be like, yo, I need you to collect some flowers. I need you to collect a red one, a blue one, and a golden flower. The red one you find just randomly throughout the map. It spawns in select locations. The blue one you find at night in certain locations and the golden one you just kill any NPC and they have a chance of dropping it. Probably the easiest one to get. So I'm going to go collect those and I will be back when I am race v2 okay so we are done I've just hit race v2 as you can see my like flash step is quite like it's much longer now but I mean I can't really show off anything else there's really not much to show off it's, there's no like visual changes or you don't gain an ability or anything until v3 so I'm gonna go and work towards getting level 1100 now because that's when I can start doing raids and I can get my other account in to help me awaken this fruit which will be very very useful okay so now that we've reached level 1100 i'm able to go and host raids i've been saving up all the fruits i've been rolling so far and i've got a ton on my main account so what i'm gonna go do is i'm gonna go get the first ability the second ability pretty much all the abilities and then we're gonna go over them very very quickly so let's get into it Alrighty, so we've got the z move fully awakened now before it was called rumble dragon it shot this puny little thing of like lightning at people but now it is called the lightning beast and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like from like the front angle as you can see it is a lot bigger there i will use it against an enemy too all right i'm going to charge up use it against an enemy as you can see it is miles bigger than what it was before it does a lot more damage and i think it's slightly faster too from the looks of it it is very very cool though now with the power of magical editing i have gone and i have locked the second ability for the electric or rumble whatever you want to call it now 
This ability is really, really cool. So before, all we got was one little flash. Now, we get three. <laughs> so it is, uh, it's a lot better. They charge up, as you'll see on the screen in a moment. They'll come back. It'll say, like, charge one of three, charge one of three. Yeah, you'll see in a minute. There it is. As you can see, I just got all my charges back. They come back really quickly, too. So you get three flashes. It's really OP for movement. I actually, this is one of the reasons Rumble has to be my favorite fruit of all time. Like, it's just so good. Alrighty, so we have upgraded the Sky Thunder ability to the Thunderstorm ability now this ability does become way way better when you upgrade it in my opinion so let's go and use it there we go boom it is a lot cooler looking as you can see it's none of that like weird uh 2008 roblox uh <laughs> vfx but it looks a lot better it's a lot cooler here it is again from an upward angle there you go as you can see very very cool also very overpowered for uh pvp because it stuns like heavily super super good another reason why this is just like my favorite uh fruit of all time okay so the sky judgment ability the c ability should i say we have now gotten fully awakened and we've only got one ability left so i'm going to show you what this ability can do it is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie you guys are gonna love this one look how awesome this is right it's cool it was cool before right these are really high level enemies by the way but the problem with it before it was super slow but now it's like really quick and i can just spam like all these abilities it's so cool so i'll show you one more time here we go the sky judgment ability and i can just spam combos it rumble is such an awesome fruit i love it now with the final ability the v move for rumble fully awakened it comes to the thunderball destruction move now if you use rumble for pvp i highly recommend not getting this ability just because it makes it worse for pvp but if you're just using it to level up then i highly recommend getting it because it's really cool and uh it's it's absolutely massive as you can as you can see <laughs> it's absolutely huge look at it and it does a lot of damage okay so i'm gonna go work towards getting a higher level i'm also gonna continue rolling actually you know what? let's go do that okay so i need to roll again i need to continue to roll as i said before because we're trying oh my god <gasps> wait no no wait oh my god i have to get rid of it Oh, that is so unbelievable. Wait, I rolled a dog. Oh, no. Oh, that hurts so much. I need to use it to get to the third C. Oh, man. That is so painful. <sighs> okay, so now that I've got a dough fruit, a fruit that is worth over 1 million berries, I can now go to the third C once I've leveled up. But what I'm going to do, just in case I get a fruit that is worth a million berries again, but that isn't so rare like a doe fruit, and I don't want to get rid of the doe fruit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and level up and pray to the high heavens that I get a fruit that is worth a million berries that isn't a really good mythical fruit. I'll take anything, honestly anything. So let's go do that, and then we will go and give that fruit to whoever, you know, Don Swan, Trevor, whatever his name is. We'll go get Race V3, and then we will go to the third C once everything is done and sorted okay so we're level 1500 we're pretty much ready for the third c now but we're not going to go there yet because we need to do a couple things first of all we need to unlock the access to don swan so we can go get race v3 and we can also go to the third c that means i have to trade in a fruit worth 1 million berries now we do know that i did get a fruit worth 1 million berries now that fruit was a doe fruit but luckily for me, boys, I was able to get another fruit that is worth 1 million berries. I am so happy I don't have to get rid of dough. You guys can't even understand how happy I am. Literally, the next roll after dough, I got a portal fruit. I am so lucky. I don't know how this happened, but hey, look, I ain't complaining. So I'm going to talk to Trevor here. Trevor will pretty much be like, yo, join our organization. Don't disappoint me. Give me a fruit that's really good. So we give him the portal fruit, and as you can see, Swan access granted. Now it's time to kill him. Oh my god, okay, the first server hop I go to, I find him. That is very rare. Usually this guy's always farmed. All right, let's kill him. Okay, we got him. I only died once. That's not too bad. Unfortunately, we didn't get the swan glasses. I was hoping we would get those, but uh, it doesn't matter. Let's move on. In order to actually go and get race V3, what I need to do is come over to the Flower Hill area of this place and pretty much just walk through this door like that and just talk to this guy. He'll pretty much just call me weak and say that I can unlock my true strength. Okay, so once you've talked to him, what you got to do is got to go and kill three different bosses. Now, this is the human quest, so if you're a rabbit or if you're a shark man, this ain't gonna like matter for you guys but i gotta go kill three different bosses so let's go do that all 
All right, first boss down. Let's go to the next one. All right, next boss. Let's go. All right, there we go. We killed him. We also got the gravity cane, but that's kind of cool. All right, let's go. Next boss, Jeremy. And that should finish him off. There we go. Yep, there we go. We killed him. Okay, so we should be able to go and get race V3 now. No worries. We speak to this guy and he should give us race deaths. There we go. So we got the last resort ability, which is kind of useless for farming, but I thought we might as well go do it. Anyway, let's go fight Indra and then we should be able to go to the third C. Okay, don't ask me what happened to my character because honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I just felt like blending in with the walls, I suppose. So anyway, all we have to do is talk to this guy and then we can go fight Indra. He's like, yo, I'm sad. Can you go disrespect the owner of this game real quick? I'm like, no worries, bro. I got you. All right, there we go. We did it. You guys have seen this cutscene a thousand times, so I'm just going to skip ahead into the third C real quick, and we'll be back. Okay, so we only have one thing left to do now, and that is to get Rumble to 600 Mastery. Well, technically, we have two things, because we also need to reach max level as well. I think there's only one way to do this properly. If you guys have seen my other videos, we're going to go and do a montage of me leveling up. Let's get it rolling. Level 1,700. Level 1,900 and mastery. Rumble is done. Let's hit max level. Level 2,100. And there we have it. We are finally max level, ladies and gentlemen. Now, make sure to comment below what fruit you guys want to see next on this series. We're doing every single fruit, so I want to know what fruit you guys want to see next.